Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we've got a bunch of items we want to test to see what's working, what's not working, uh, if it's fixable, if it's not working. This is the only thing we're not going to be testing because I know this works because this is our personal one. But we're going to be using it to test other things. Okay, so we're going to test these out. And we're going to go from there and see what works and what doesn't and if they can be fixed. So we're going to do that today on Shea Bear Shop Shenanigans. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys. So like I said, this is the only thing we're not going to be testing. It's going to be used for testing. Now if you notice, in this clip, from the other clip, a couple things are moved around. That's because I dropped a few things, and you'll see that in the outtakes. So, Alright, so what we got here first of all, that is broke. I don't know if I just broke it, or no, it's been glued on there. See, someone had it glued on there. So we're going to be testing out this Uniden Stalker Uniden 4-band laser. Okay. Integrates X, K, K, A, wide band and laser. Doesn't say LiDAR. What this is, it's a uh, laser, or uh, laser detector. <sighs> what this is, is a radar detector. The same way with this one, we've got the Whistler 945. It's laser. Um, this one was in his truck. It's got all the sticky stuff on it. That's why it's sitting down like this, because if I set it down for too long, it wants to stick real bad. Because he's got it uh, Velcroed. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, this is a front and rear. I'm not sure what this one is. I think it's just, you know, pointing. Yeah, this is just the front one. Um, these are radar detectors, you know, so you don't get pulled over for speeding. Um, some states they are illegal, so you know, look up your laws and everything. We have a power stapler here. I don't have batteries for it, and it's an automatic stapler. It's from Office Depot, but it does have a port in the back, which I believe. This will fit to check it out. Okay. Also, I know this works. This will not be tested. Um, you'll see it working. I have a 12 volt battery down here on the floor because all this stuff is 12 volt minus those things. Um, so I do know this works. And um, we'll get that hooked up when we're ready to do the testing. Got a couple of these. Um, things with earpieces, they're kind of like mics. You got an earpiece. Okay, so you can talk to someone else. Okay, we have, we have a Garmin. GPS Garmin here. It's an older one from the looks of that screen. I don't think this thing's going to work. It was on the golf cart. So I figure it's probably had a bunch of water in it. Condensation. I don't look forward to this working, but this could be a video in itself so to try to get it working maybe we have here a Schumacher okay this is a uh, 410 watt power inverter not to be confused with power converter okay a power converter takes 110 and turns it into 12 volt okay and power inverter if, if you guys don't know, it takes 12 volt, converts it into 110. So it converts um, AC to DC on this one. A converter does the opposite. It converts uh, DC to AC. Okay? Did I say that right? Yeah. No. This converts yeah, DC. This converts DC to AC. Okay? A converter converts it from AC to DC. Okay, kind of had it backwards. We have another one here. Uh, what is that? Centec. 
this one I believe is 750 yes it's a 750 watt I don't know if these things work and also we're going to try I believe this might be a 6 volt I'm not sure I'll look into it but we're going to try it we're still going to try it with a 12 volt battery you know it's, because it's not going to be running long but you guys know what this is Ooga horn and at Ooga horn before I get corrected but um, if this doesn't work we'll do a video all by itself just on this one okay so let me move some of the stuff out of the way and we'll start testing these things so I got my deep deep cycle uh, marine battery up here it's getting kind of old we've had it a few years but it still seems to hold hold charge but we're going to check See if it's got 12 volts. If it got if it's got 12 volts, it should be good enough to test what we're going to be testing with. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can pick up on that or not. Okay, it's got 12.2 volts. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, so that should do. The testing that we want to do so let's go ahead we're going to hook this up because we're going to need this hooked up so let's go to all right we're going to go to positive like i said i know this works we're just using it for testing other things i think i called that other stuff equipment but as you can see as you saw from the title it's testing gadgets okay now let's make sure this is going to work. Yes. See, it kicks on. Like I said, we have one in our truck somewhere we used to use. It's supposed to have one of these on it. I think ours, the uh, the end went bad. But we have the same exact one. Now this was added on. He had this up in the uh, dash of the truck. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to plug this in. Okay, let's shut this off first. Then I'm going to plug this into here. It's a little. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Okay. So let's zoom in here just a little bit. And let's see if that works. I do know it has a few staples in it. Because I did check the staples. You change it right here. So I'm trying to get some selling stuff for her mom. Let's try this. Yes, and it works well. All right, awesome. So that's a win. Um, I'm sure it'll work with the batteries. Like I said, I'm, I don't have batteries in it, but if they want to test it, I can get some batteries and test it for them. But I'm not giving away batteries; they're too expensive. Right, let's shut this off. Let's get this out of the way and let's move on to something else. Okay, now we've got the Ooga Horn at Ooga Horn, whatever. When I was a kid, I used to call them Ooga Horns. My dad used to have them on his truck. You can adjust them here. Uh, this is a uh, model FM. It is from what is that? EA Laboratories Incorporated, Brooklyn, New York. United States of America so all I'm just gonna do on here let me back it back out now is this grounds I do believe from the casing grounds so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over onto the hot pause onto the positive terminal and we're just gonna touch this onto the negative and see if it works if it doesn't then we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a video of maybe restoring that thing um, Those things are cool. I think it'd be cool on the golf cart. All right, guys. So here we go. Uh, that smokes for me, by the way. So we're gonna touch this on here. Okay. So we're not getting a spark or anything. So I believe these. I think I had one of these apart once when I was little. I fixed one for my dad when I was like 12 or 13. Uh, if I remember right, there's a little motor that turns in here and it vibrates on a like a, a disc 
down inside here so it could be rusted it could be stuck okay so this is going to be a video in itself so let's move on to something else next on the list on the chopping block is these now I've already put batteries in these <coughs> excuse me but I have not turned them on to try them out yet okay it's a, they're from realistic which is, is pretty good stuff uh, voice actuated audionic FM transceiver okay so like for those of you that may not know um, let's say all right, you, you, you got your camera, and it has a wireless mic, okay? So, that's the transmitter that, you're, that your mic plugs into. That transmits over to the part you plug into your camera, which is the receiver. So, this does both. So, hence the name transceiver, okay? It transmits and receives both ways. So, let's turn this on here to PTT. There's a light there on the where it says busy. Okay, let's go to PTT first. <coughs> the PTT is you'll have to push the button to talk. Okay, PTT push to talk. All right. So and let's turn. Okay, let's turn the volume all the way up on these things. All right. Now I'm gonna put one in my ear. And we'll push the button in that one to talk, and if it works, then I'll try to hold it up to the mic of the camera. Oh yeah, it works. Uh, where's the mic at? Check. Check one, two. Can you guys hear that okay? Check, check, check. Alright, so that tells me at least the transmitting part of this is, or the receiving part of this is working. Transmission, transmitting part of that is working. So let's try this one. We'll plug this one in my ear. And I'll push the button on this to talk. And oh yes. Very loud. Can you guys hear that? Hopefully you guys can hear it. Okay, there's that. Now you've also got the mode, the VOX. Okay, see. VOX. Let's turn it on to VOX. Alright, we've got the lights on. Now what this does is you don't have to push the button you just talk and it's it comes over the uh, both of them so let's see is this one check 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 this one is not picking it up but it is putting out so okay alright so there we go check 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 okay check 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 let me talk into this. Check, check, check. Check, check. I'm not sure where the mic is on these, but can you guys hear it okay? Check, check, check. Alright, so these do work. Pretty cool. I'd like to find a use for them. Okay, so there's that. I don't know what the range is on them or anything like that. I haven't really looked it up. It doesn't really say. Alright, so these do work, so we're going to put these over here aside. Excuse me, just for a second here. Alright, now we're going to get something else up here and check something else. Now what we have here is we have a power inverter. This is the 410 watt. And we're just going to plug it in here. We're going to turn this on. Okay, now, I don't know. This also has a uh, USB port there. Not sure if there's an on off switch right there, it looks like, but it doesn't look like anything is happening. See that? There should be numbers or something, something coming up on There we go, you just got to hold it for a second. All right, so there's the watts 12.4 volts, so that's you know pretty close to what we was measuring. Okay, 12. 12 volts but and this should tell us how many watts Can you guys see that I'll get you down here now this is where the um, the drill is going to come in all right now I'm not going to push it to the limit but okay now 
let's see here. So I've got the cord here. Now let's try it. Okay, so this thing looked like it was drawn 40 watts. 60, 87. Alright, so it does work. That'd be enough for a light. I mean, you know, it's kind of slow on the drill, but... So, we know that works. Let's power this off. It's off. Alright. Um, let me see. I would like to try this out. The USB. I think I've got one up here. And I do. So let's plug in the USB here like this all right we got that plugged into here uh, let me see I've got an old phone here um, but it doesn't take this type of shit okay well I guess what we'll do is I do have another one hang on a second let me go get another cord Okay, we've got another cord here. I can back you out now. You guys get the idea so you can see. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to plug this in here. I've got an old phone. I think it was her mom's. It's an old flip phone. This phone does work, see? So let's go ahead. And we're going to plug this in. Where's it plug in at? You guys remember having phones like this? We're going to plug it in here and see if it'll charge. Okay, let's turn this on. It's on, and I don't know if you guys can see that, up there in that corner, it is charging. Let's open it up. See? It is charging, so the USB port works as well. So, that is a working item there. So let's go ahead, shut this off, and let's bring the other one up here and see if it works as well. Okay, here's the other one. I forgot to mention, it does have a cooling fan in it. Now, this does not kick on immediately. It'll kick on once you use it for a few minutes. <coughs> a few minutes, excuse me. To uh, keep the insides cool. Alright, so we know that one works. This one's a little different. This one clips onto the battery with the uh, alligator clips, which, you know, these need to be kind of fixed up if it works okay this also has a USB port in it like I said <coughs> excuse me it's 750 watt it also has a cooling fan so let's go ahead and I'm just going to try to here I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing over here I'm just going to try to clip this on here with this clip okay and then I'll clip this one on here. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but make sure they're on the right post. Doesn't really say, does it? Okay, well, all right, let's get you down here. Now, this looks like a power switch here. There's a power and a fault, so if you get them screwed up, it should come up as fault. Okay, so let's, okay, so, <clears throat> all right, see, it does, where you at? Power came on, all right, let's plug the drill into this. It should be a little faster than the other one. It is 750 watt. Now, I think that's like peak power or whatever you want to call it, so, all right, here we go. Let me back you back out again. Yeah, see the difference? See how quick that takes off? Alright, so this one works. Works well. Um, these we may hang on to. Um, I have a couple, but one of them, you know, has one of these styles on it, and it's all messed up. So I gotta put another end on it. But, like I said before, we're in Florida, we have a lot of hurricanes, a lot of tropical storms where the power goes out. That can come in handy, though we do still have 
the generator, we're keeping the generator. Um, you know, if it was just Monkey and I, you know, we could get by with just these. But with her mom, you know, we may have to uh, run a heater or an air conditioner for her. So we're going to keep that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's try the USB on that. Alright, so we got the USB cable. We're going to go ahead and plug this in. Just like that. We're going to plug it into the phone and see if the phone will charge. And it is. See it right up there in that corner? This phone is charging. So this works flawlessly as well. It just needs a uh, something done with the uh, clips up there. So let's go ahead and shut this off. Alright, shuts off. Great. I've had them where they won't shut off at all. Alright, so now let's bring up the fuzz busters. Remember, we used to call them fuzz busters. Alright, the radar detectors. Let's bring them up and check them out. Okay, I brought you in a little closer for these. Now, these. You know, I'm not going to plug them in and, and drive around town looking for a cop or anything like that. But usually, one, if these things kick on, they're working. You know, I mean, they're pretty pretty—they're pretty much they either work or they don't. I'm not sure about this one. This was in a box, thrown in a box of a bunch of junk. Oh, that was turned on. And uh, so I don't know if it's any good or not. This was in the truck. I remember it working uh, a while back. So let's try this one first because I'm pretty sure it's still going to work. So let's go ahead and let's get it plugged in here to our little deal. Um, let's plug this in. Alright, now let's flip this on. The, okay, there it is. Okay, so I know now that this works because it always, <coughs> excuse me, it always came on like that. I'm not doing a review of this, I'm just checking it out. It did always come on like that, you know, it's got city mode because a lot of doors, uh, you know, those motion activated doors will set these off, like if you drive by a speedway or pull into the parking lot, these things will start going off, so you put it on city and it reduces that. It doesn't get rid of it, but it reduces that. So I can tell you right now that yes, this, this is working because I know it did work, um, but I just wanted to make sure it's still still does um, see this is when you got it on your windshield this points to the back if you got if you got one following you and he, he can clock you um, and this one of course is front facing for what's coming up next so let's shut this off let's, how do you shut this thing off okay there's a little dial here on the side okay so this one's good um, you know what, I'm just gonna leave that plugged in I'll turn it off there Okay, so that one's good. We can sell that, definitely. Um, I don't want Monkey getting used to using one of these because I don't want her speeding all the time. So let's plug this in here. Okay, this doesn't quite fit because it's not the, the right thing, but it does fit enough, I think, to where we can test it. So let's go ahead and turn this back on. And now let's flip this on. Yes, it is on. Back out a little bit. Okay, like I said, this is okay. It is on. I'm holding it. All right. I'm holding the cord. So yes, this will work. I can tell you right now, this will work. All the functions are are working. So yes, this is a working item here. I, I'm pretty sure somewhere in my box of cords and whatnot, I've I've probably got one of these that will fit it the way it's supposed to. All right, so these two work, okay? So now let's move on to something else. Okay, now we've got this Garmin. This is a, you can tell this is an old one. Wow, uh, everybody uses their phone nowadays anyway, but looks like it's got a memory card in it. Um, I've updated these before, but like I said, I mean, if you got your phone, you know, people usually use that. So let's go ahead and let's get this plugged in. Like I said, I don't have much hope for this, so that's why I saved it for last. Now, we could do a try to fix it, 
video on this as well if you want leave it in the comments below um, but I don't know much about these kind of things I'm not saying I couldn't get it fixed but if it's water damaged I'm sure you know it wouldn't you know what I mean it all right let's let's just go ahead and turn this on all right now let's push the here's the power button on this and we're not getting anything out of it okay so let's unplug this let's check this and see if this is putting out 12 volts first um, got our multimeter here uh, let's turn it on it's set up already uh, we're just going to check this we'll stick that into the positive this should be the negative okay so it looks like it could just be this cord maybe or there might be a fuse in that let's check and make sure our meters work okay well our meters not working because it's unplugged how many of you guys were screaming at the screen saying it's unplugged Shea Bear all right now let's check make sure okay all right now let's check our our cord here put it in positive center so that's putting out 10 volts uh, so I don't know if this is reduction I'm not sure if this is a uh, I would think it would run on 12 volts it doesn't say on the back it's a street pilot um, let's go ahead and plug this in again plug-in at where did we have the where did we have a plug at oh there it is All right. let's try it again okay nothing so like I said I don't know if this is putting out the right amount You know, some of these reduce things down, but I would think this is supposed to run off of 12 volts, but I'm not sure I'll have to look into it. So, yeah, we can do a video on this and see if we can get it fixed. I don't know if there's a fuse up in here. I know there's one up in there, but apparently it's working because we checked it with the multimeter. So, there it is. There's what we got. Um, what, two out of everything we checked. Only two items don't work. I know I can fix the horn. Um, I'm not sure about this. It's no big deal. Like I said, it was on the golf cart, so I'm not real worried about this. If it does get fixed, we can sell it. If not, oh well. But the horn, um, you know, I'm 100% positive I can get the horn working, providing that there's not some kind of bad internal damage, like on the motor or something like that. Uh, this, I'm not too sure, and we're not really worried about it. I'm just trying to think of different ways to help help her make some money you know so all right there you go guys okay guys this just in literally monkey just got back with her mom they were they were at uh, her mom's house and um she brought this back she says i got you another fan i was like great because i'm doing i just finished a video so um but i haven't edited it, edited it yet um, but she's trying to get me some fans to where I can stay cool in this garage. So, this looks like an older fan. I don't know how you pronounce that. Aloha Breeze. Okay, Let me get this up here for you. Aloha Breeze, huh? I think that's how you pronounce it. Yep, Aloha Breeze. Model 46019. Date says 1... Tenth, so I don't know if that's January 10th or not, or I mean January of 2010. Made in China for indoor use only 120 volts, 60 hertz, 40 watts. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Oh, what I'll do is, is I'll look this up online and put it across the screen right here and then you'll see what year it is you know it could be it could be made to look old but it's a newer fan i don't know 
but it does um, it's supposed to osculate. Okay, so let me get this plugged in. Okay, I got it plugged in. I'm guessing this is nostalgia because this cord is a uh, it's a three prong cord. You know, it's got the ground and the way these clips are. So I'm guessing it probably is 2010. It's got a serial number on it. But we'll check the model number out, like I said, and I'll put it on the screen for you. But let's go ahead and try this out. But if anything, it does look cool. So let's go. There's low. There's medium. And there's high. Now let's see if it osculates. And there it goes. Oh, that'll be nice. That fan and the fan right here that you usually hear running in the background. Okay, nice. That works great. Awesome. Okay, so. Just wanted to throw that in with this video. Okay, guys. So, that's what we have. Um, out of everything we tested... Uh, I don't think I forgot anything. Um, so out of everything we tested, everything worked except for two items. I know I can get the horn working, providing, like I said, um, you, you know, the brushes aren't broke or something like that. We'll get into that later. The Garmin, I'm not real, I'm not real hopeful on that. I'm not that great with them things, but I'm pretty sure I can, I can get it working. Uh, or I'm not sure I can get it working but I'm pretty sure I can get the the horn working but the Garmin eh, I I don't know I mean that's a 50 50 chance there I, I might take it apart and find something uh, what we'll do is we'll try another we'll try a different uh, different cord different power power cord and see if that helps I'll do some research on it and see what it's supposed to take uh, on the input if it's supposed to be 12 volt or supposed to be 10 9 volt 10 volt we'll see about that that could be an issue there it could be something simple but we'll deal with that later so i want to say thanks guys for checking the stuff out with me and uh thanks for joining me on this episode of shea bears shop shenanigans i appreciate it so hope everyone enjoys the rest of your week and uh thanks for watching and um y'all be cool all right shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now bye bye guys and uh stay tuned for more videos okay so like i said this is not going to be tested. It's going to be used for testing other equipment. Shit. Get so tired of doing outtakes, it's unreal.